Imagine if we could control people at will, and I don't mean by just telling someone to do something and having them do it. I mean actual physical control, where they do everything you want them to do. What if you could build a remote control human? Control. The word comes from the 15th century French word contre-roller, which means to keep a duplicate account or role. However, the English definition is to exercise restraint or direction over. For centuries, humans have tried to control their environment from redirecting water to their crops and by herding animals for domestication. However, like just about everything, control is the dark side. From malevolent dictatorships to the destruction of natural habitats, it seems as though the desire to control things is just in our nature. Now I have recently learned about a unique way to control things that involves something called electrical muscle stimulation, or EMS. Essentially what EMS is, is it's using electricity to contract muscles. It was first discovered by Luigi Galvani by attaching electrodes to the legs of dead frogs, which caused them to twitch and move as if they were still alive. It was experiments like these that involved the use of electricity to make dead things appear to come alive that helped to inspire the author Mary Shelley to write the science fiction novel Frankenstein. Now using this method of EMS, I will be creating the world's first remote controlled human, using this, which is the Maker 1000. This tiny little board is Arduino's newest board, and can't be purchased yet. In fact, there's only a thousand in existence right now. Now I'm sure you're probably wondering why I have one. Well, it's because I presented this idea to a website called Hextra.io, which got accepted. So they sent me one. Now this little board can connect to Wi-Fi without the need for any shields, and it has a built-in LiPo charger. These features are extremely helpful if you're building an Internet of Things project. My plan for this project is simple. Essentially, I will connect the Arduino to an electrotherapy device, which will be controlled by the Arduino, which will be controlled using the Windows Remote app, which will allow me to control the board without the need to write any code. Once everything is hooked up, I will be able to test it. So here's the circuit. It is essentially two NPN transistors with the trigger pins connected to pins 2 and 3 on the Maker 1000. The collector is connected to the buttons on the EMS device, and the emitter connects to ground. This circuit works because the Arduino will trigger the transistors, creating a complete circuit connecting the buttons to ground, switching them on. Now all I need to do is build the circuit, hook everything up, and test it on my volunteer victim.
All right, we are connected. And now we're turning it on. Oh, fuck. Yep, it's on. It's on? Yep. Sweet. All right. We're going to be increasing the power a bit. Anything? Almost. Starting to feel it. Yeah? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. So what are some potential uses for this? Well, like I showed earlier, it can be used to cause dead things to move by contracting the muscles. And every part of every organism moves using muscles. So theoretically, using this method, one could use the muscles of dead organisms to control them, reanimating the dead. The problem with this is the fact that after something dies, the cells begin to break down and self-destruct. So it can only be controlled for a short period of time. Now I'm sure you're probably wondering, Anders, would you ever raise the dead? Well, the answer is, I lack the funds, resources, and time to do that. However, the will? I cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> Another use that would probably be more practical would be giving people who are paralyzed the ability to move again. You see, people who are paralyzed still have muscles that have the ability to move. There is just no link between mind and muscle. So if you were to use electrical muscle stimulation, you could theoretically cause the person's paralyzed body parts to move. Now, if you were to make it so the person could control the electrical pulses by connecting sensors to the person's brain, you could reconnect the brain to the muscles, allowing them to move again. So let's say you make a remote control human. If you like this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends and followers on all forms of social media. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this coming in the near future. Let's continue to replace ignorance with knowledge. And as always, have a nice day.